Alright. You know what frustrates me? When you go to make food, and the instructions treat you like you're a complete idiot. Alright, here I have some pretzels. Now, the instructions for pretzels, I don't waste your time. It's pre-baked food. Just toss it in the oven, microwave it for 60 seconds, whatever. It's it just needs to be. But really bring his eyeballs to the boil is the instructions how to salt the pretzel. That's right. There's instructions for salt. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> Step one, moisten pretzel with a small amount of water. Um, I guess that's nice of them, like, to let you know, but in the amount of time it takes you to figure out it's not sticking, even though it kind of does, I think you, you could have just figured it out by then. It's not brain science. And let's be honest, like, if you're not smart enough to realize that water will make it stick, then you probably don't know how to read in the first place. So, step one is, is useless. Let's continue on. Step two. Sprinkle pretzel with salt, according to taste. So I guess I'll sprinkle a little bit of salt. Wait a second. A according to taste? So let me get this straight. I'm supposed to taste it to make sure that I have enough thing, but it's, it's frozen. Listen to this. The thing is as hard as a diamond on Viagra. Like, do they really expect you to bite into this? I, I dare you to bite into this, and the only thing you're gonna taste is the bone dust of your broken teeth. Whoever the genius is at Baker's Best are just cruel, evil people. Ugh. All right, like, Maybe, maybe they expect you to, to heat it and then taste it and then reheat it and, and repeat, but that's, that's way too time consuming for a 60 second microwave meal. It's what, there's no, uh, oh wait, but even step four says heat, heat and serve. So, so they actually expect you to bite into the, oh my God, frustrating. Um. All right, let's check out step three, just in case I missed something here. Oh, it's a note. Do not use entire salt pack if not heating entire box. Gee, thanks. I really needed this. This is a full salt package, and furthermore, it's only a six count. If you're really going, you're not even gonna use half of it, even if you made the whole thing. Who is stupid enough to you know what? Let's take a look. Let's see what happens. What do we got here? Oh yeah. That's how I like it. Look at that. <laughs> this is what it would look like if you put the entire thing. There is mounds of salt in here. Oh my god. A baby wouldn't do this. If you left this out, a dog wouldn't even eat the whole package. And, and he licks his own balls. Oh my god, what were they thinking to even push this? Oh, what idiots. Oh, may, all right, maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I can't. Like, if, if, there's a, if, if there's a lawsuit, maybe someone got dehydrated and they're trying to protect themselves from getting sued. Oh, oh wait, no, because if they were really concerned about getting sued, they wouldn't have told you to bite into the fucking frozen food. This is just, oh, I'm just trying to eat a simple snack, not feel like a, being patronized into a glue-sniffing toddler. This whole thing is so asinine that it's just deeply, passionately frustrating. Might as well just take a huge elephant turd, fold that into the shape of pretzel, and eat that shit, because this is a fucking joke.